bear with me. It's my first time literally laying cinder blocks. Alrighty, y'all, check out what is happening behind me. What's going on everybody? Before we actually jump into this video, I want to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving. Thank you so much for spending time with me, watching these videos, and just watching the progress of my new custom home build. Have a happy Thanksgiving. Enjoy this time with family, friends, and I hope you feel all the love today, and I hope you enjoy all of your loved ones' time. So enjoy this day. Happy Thanksgiving. Let's get on with the episode. What's going on everybody? Welcome to Nico's Property Show. Today I am going to be knocking out some columns for my beams that are going to be holding up my front gable okay uh, we had a small back order on these beams so I've been waiting so the rest of the house has been getting done the framing everything the plywood around the roof everything else is done except these columns because I've been waiting for these beams to come in so I got to actually lay these columns out of cinder blocks and then I'm gonna pour them with quick reach so that they're really really strong and then when we set these beams on it which is they're gonna be timber fir beams we're gonna actually be able to know that there's gonna be strong support in that area so I'm excited to get going I'm gonna be actually doing this job so bear with me it's my first time literally laying cinder blocks so I asked my dad and my brothers you know how to do this my dad's been a uh, block mason for 48 years he started in ukraine still did it here in the u.s so i'm excited to do this first project me doing it on my own let's see what happens we're gonna see how it goes and hopefully it turns out well so let's get straight to work So I got all this stuff unloaded. Um, I got this Type S mortar in the wheelbarrow. I need, for every one bag, you need 16 shovels of sand. So right now, since I'm only using a half bag to get this column up right here, it's gonna be about a four foot column, maybe a little shorter, just depends on how I like the look of it. I need eight shovels of sand, so I'm gonna mix that up, go borrow my neighbor's water, and we're gonna get straight to work out here. Gotta get this done uh, because the beams are coming in and that stuff is important because it will be sitting right here. And I'll give you all a better view real quick. So this right here is where that's actually gonna go. So I'm gonna dig out some of this gravel um, and I'm gonna build up right here and then you're gonna see this column raise up right here while the rest of the area stays where it is because this will all be poured in this is gonna be a concrete front porch area um, and it's gonna be beautiful I'm excited for this and um, right here it's gonna be also a column because there's gonna be two beams that go up one two one across and then it's gonna hold this front gable up so let me mix up this mortar real quick go get some water and I'm gonna get straight to work for y'all so let's do that let's get some progress y'all not so bad for my first time ever i've got it up here and it's leveled off so this is going to be where i've got two going up and my columns are actually going to go here so as you can see but it was a rookie move putting all this gravel in here because now i have to undig it put it all over there get all that over there um so i got this one right here done 
and that's gonna get filled with quickrete. So right now I need to use up all my masonry cement um, for the other side for that little column up so that we can have that little bump out right there like I do over here. So let's get in business, get working over here, and then I'll be able to make some quickrete, which I have on the back of my truck right there, and we're gonna fill those little areas up so that they are solid and firm. So let's get straight to work. Alright so I got this entire bottom part laid out so I'm going to spread this gravel back out make sure it's all good then I'm going to mix that quick read up that I got in my truck get it nice and mixed up get a bucket pour that inside of there so it's very firm now most people probably wouldn't do this the beams would have been fine just on this area but just want to make sure you know nobody has problems in the future with this I want to make sure that it's just done right I mean at the end of the day I'm going to be living here and I want to make sure that you know one day if I ever sell this that somebody's going to be living in a house that was built the right way so let me spread all this gravel back around and then I'll get that quick greet mixed up and then we're going to lay the rest of that block column all the way up to where my beam is actually going to rest on so let's get to work y'all we are ready i got all the blocks over here with the bobcat didn't feel like carrying all of them over here like i told y'all earlier we're gonna get these up to about right here it's gonna be really 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 nice gonna get this side up to about right here as well um and i told you earlier this is my first time ever laying block by myself so we're gonna see how it turns out i got my four foot level wish i had a two foot level but i couldn't find it in my dad's truck and uh we're just gonna get this rolling we're gonna knock it out and this is gonna be how you build your own home with nico's property show so this is how you actually do some block work to get your beams in for your front porch gable so let's keep on moving thank you for watching this long y'all so i will say for my first time this is a little bit stressful but i've got it as, uh, as level and as square or whatever you want to call it as i possibly can um so i actually gotta add one more row here i believe i need to measure it just to make sure um because my grade is actually going to be here at these blocks um so it might look a little tall be like dude you're going so high but it's actually going to be my grade my final grade of soil will actually be kind of right here and then kind of leaning off over there so um, i'm excited i'm going to finish this up and i'm going to progress through this process and I'm going to show you what it looks like at the end. I'm excited. Uh, first time laying cinder blocks. Why not? You know, um, why not do it on your own custom home build? So anyways, I'm going to continue here. I'm going to get this done. Let's get this thing knocked out.
y'all check out what is happening behind me. Obviously, y'all saw all the time-lapse video, but it is almost time to end this video out, but I'm so excited and so happy with how this turned out. Let me give y'all more of a like frontal view. So this is gonna be where my front porch area is. There's gonna be a gable up there and all this is kind of working in a wonky way because um, you know, like with shortages and material and everything like that, it's just like hit or miss. So you might get this, but you might not get that and you might get this and you might not get that. But anyways, I got these things knocked out. It's time to end this video. I'm excited. I'm so happy with how this progressed. So let's knock this video out. What a day it's been folks. I literally just laid block for the first time ever in my life. As I told you, before I've done stone before I think I might have laid a few bricks in my lifetime but I've never actually laid blocks so big shout out you know to my dad and my brothers my dad's been a block mason for 48 years as I told y'all earlier on I'm ready for my wood beams to come in I'm extremely excited I'm so happy to be able to be at this point of the process because now my house is literally just becoming what I envisioned it what the plans show it's the it's the point where you're kind of like man everything is actually becoming a reality even though I mean I do have a whole framed up house right here just seeing all these different things finishing touches happen and just seeing the progress continue is making my heart so happy and I appreciate all y'all watching to this point but if you did enjoy this video make sure you like and subscribe and make sure you follow me on all social platforms but especially TikTok because it's so easy to edit and post on there if you haven't yet check out nikospropertyshow.com grab you some merch support the movement and without further ado really appreciate you make sure you guys are having a great day I'll see you on the next video peace out